Hi guys! Today we're going to go over our Git WooCommerce Wishlist Plugin's main settings. With this plugin, you can add a wishlist feature to your online shop, allowing your customers to add the products they like to their wishlist, to buy them later, or to share that list with family and friends promoting your own products. We're going to see how to activate the plugin, how to configure it, and more. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. So, this is the site that I'll use for this video. I haven't activated the plugin yet, so there's no visible wishlist options here. Everything's normal. So, first of all, let's activate the plugin. Let's go to the dashboard, plugins, and I'm going to look for my wishlist plugin there. Activate there. So, it's active now. Now, let's go to Eid, wishlist. So in this panel, you see that we have several tabs. For this video, we're going to focus on the first three tabs, general settings, add to wishlist options and wishlist page options. Okay, so the first thing I want to do now that I activated the plugin is to add a wishlist widget here next to the card widget. That way, if I added a product to the wishlist, I will be able to see it right here, okay? It would work very much just like this card widget works when you add the product to the card. Let's go over to Appearance, Widgets. As you know, here we have different areas from our side where we can add every widget we have available. We have the default sidebar, the top bar area, but I'm interested in the header area right here. If I expand here, if I expand here, I have the card widget, which is the one we just saw, and I'm going to add the Yid wishlist items. Here we have the show extended widget or show mini widget. This is the one that I'm going to choose. And then we have these options, show items count, show items from default wishlist only, show add all to cart button, show view wishlist link. I'm going to select all of these options, update, and now to show you how this works, I'm going to go back to Yith wishlist. I'm going to get ahead and go to add to wishlist options, and I'm going to enable this option. In our plugins latest version, this is not activated by default, so I need to activate it now. This is the option to show the add to wishlist option in the shop page. Okay, let me enable this right now. So here I have the options to choose where I'm going to position that add to wishlist option. We're going to look into this in a couple of minutes. I'm just going to choose one of the options now so I can show you how the widget works. Let's go back to the site and I'm going to refresh. Okay, so now you see that right here I have my wishlist widget. It works just as the card widget works. And now I have these little icons right here on the upper left corner of my products thumbnails to add these products to my wishlist. Let me select this top. So this was added to my wishlist. The colored heart means that the product was successfully added. And if we see here, now instead of zero it says one product added i have the name of the product right here light brown cut on top i can eliminate the product from the wish list right here and here i have the option to view my wish list so that i can see all of the products that are in it i can add all to cart so now that we have seen how the wish list widget works let's go back to the dashboard Okay, so we're going to focus on the plugin's first three tabs, general settings, add to wishlist options, and wishlist page option. Under the first tab, we're going to define the general behavior of our wishlists. Under the second one, we'll set the options to add products to the wishlist. And under the third one, we will set the options for the wishlist page. I'm going to show you that page in a couple of minutes. So let's look into the general settings tab right now. As soon as you access the plugins dashboard, this is what you see. 
The first thing we can decide here is whether to enable the wishlist for all users or only for authenticated users. This is basically logged in users. So basically, if we leave this option as it is, set to all users, anyone that visits our site can see the wishlist features. Then we can also enable notifications, the added remove notices. Since you have this enabled, the customer will get a pop-up notice every time a product is added or removed from their wishlist. Another interesting option is the add to wishlist tooltip. This was disabled. Let me enable this to show you what this is. Save options. Back to the site. Refresh. So here is the tooltip showing up below the heart icon with the add to wishlist text. And here, since I already added this product to my wishlist, the tooltip text is browse wishlist. So if I click here, I'm going to be directed to the wishlist that contains this product. Back to the dashboard. And in the following options, you can choose the description's background and text color. If we scroll down, we we'll see that we have the multi wishlist settings. We have the option here to enable a multi wishlist feature. What's this? Let's say that a customer wants to create more than one wishlist, one for Christmas, another one for his birthday and so on. So for him to have that option, to have the option to create more than one wishlist, this feature has to be enabled like this. Now, this feature can be available for all users or only for authenticated users. For example, I can allow here all users to create their own wishlist, but just one. And here I enable just authenticated users to create more than one wishlist. And by doing so, I will be adding this message to request guest users to create an account to be able to use the multi wishlist feature. You can of course edit this message, but in this case, I'm going to leave the option to all users here. Then in this section, we can enable the integration between our Yeet WooCommerce wishlist plugin and our Yeet WooCommerce frequently bought together plugin, both premium plugins. This is a very cool integration to add a slider with frequently bought together items to the wishlist page. We're not going to look into this now. We're just going to save here. And now I'm going to move on to the add to wishlist options tab. With the first option, we'll decide what the plugin does when a customer clicks on add to wishlist or the add to wishlist icon, which is what we have right now in our site. We can automatically add the product to the default list. We can show a model window to allow users to choose a wishlist and we can show a dropdown to allow users to choose a wishlist. The second one is selected by default then we can choose whether that window will be automatically closed or left open. We'll also leave it automatically closed and then we'll decide what happens after the product is added to the wishlist. We can show the add to wishlist button. We can show the view wishlist link. We can show a remove from wishlist link or we can decide that the add to wishlist button opens a window to move or remove items. And this is, of course, only available with the multi wishlist option enabled. We're going to simply leave the second option selected. So now that we have enabled the multiple wishlist feature under general settings and we defined the plugins behavior when a customer tries to add a product to the wishlist, let's see how the multiple wishlist work depending on the first options we have set up here. I'm going to save back to the site, refresh. Okay, so if I click here, since I left the default option selected in the second tab, I'm going to see this window. The first option, of course, is to add the product to my default wishlist, my wishlist, by clicking here on add to wishlist. But if I expand here, I can choose that wishlist or any other wishlist I created before, or I can create my own list right now. So let's see how to create a new one. Click here. And we're going to call this wishlist birthday. 
I can decide here whether to make this public so everyone sees it, anyone that comes into this site can see my wish list. I can create a shared wish list so that only people I share the link with can see it. So maybe if this is my birthday wish list and I want my friends or family to give me these presents, I can share this list with them so they know what to get me. Or we can create this as a private wish list so that no one but me sees the list. I'm going to choose to create a public wish list, add to wish list. Great, product added. This is my notice. Now the product has been added to the wish list I have just created. If I want to add another product, I'll see that same model. Let's try here with this top. The same model. And if I expand here, I can select the wish list that I created. Now I'm going to close and go back to the dashboard. So we're still in the add to wish list options tab and we're going to scroll down to the loop section here we see that these options will be visible on the shop page on category pages product shortcuts product sliders and all the other places where the woocommerce products loop is used okay so first option show add to wish list in loop yes this is enabled this was disabled when I activated the plugin. I enabled this option because I wanted to show you how the widget works. This is the reason why we're seeing the add to wishlist option on my shop page. So I have this enabled. If I disable this, you see that the option below disappears. Let me enable this again. And this is the option to choose the position of the add to wish list option in loop. Right now I have the on top of the image option selected. That's why we see the heart icon on the upper left corner of my thumbnails. Okay. If we expand here, we'll see the following options on top of the image, before add to cart button, after add to cart button, or we can use a short code. Let me change this to before add to cart button save we're going to go back to the site look at that new option let me refresh the site there so now i don't have the heart icon anymore and if i scroll down you see that the add to wish list option is before the add to cart button and here i don't have the option because i have already added the product to one of my wish lists I personally prefer the heart icon that we had before so let's go back to the dashboard to modify that on top of the image again now here we have the product page settings section here i'm going to choose where to show the add to wish list option on the product page we have after add to cart after thumbnails after summary or new short code we'll just leave it as it is at after add to cart we also have this option to show a count of users with a specific product in the wish list. Okay. This way our customers will know how many other customers added the same product to their wish list. Let's click here. Yes. Save options. So we're going to go back to the site and I'm going to refresh and select one of the products. Let's select this one right here. So the option to add to wish list is right below the add to cart button. And let me show you another product. Here it says that the product is already in my wish list. And I can click here to browse my wish list. And here it says that I'm the first one to add the item to a wish list. But if any other customers have added this before, here it would say one, two, three customers have added this to their wish list in this same spot. Okay, so we're going to go back to the dashboard and you'll see that in the options below, you can customize the text and then the style and color. Now we're going to move on to the wishlist page options tab. Before we look into all of these options, I'm going to go back to my site to show you what we're going to be setting up. Okay, this is the page that contains all of the wishlist that I have created. The first section of the tab that we have just clicked on configures this page, while the second section of that tab will configure the behavior in the detail page, which is the one I access when I click on 
any of my wish list. I see all of my wish list here and I'm going to click here on my birthday wish list. This is the detail page so the second section of that tab will configure this page right here okay we're going to go back to the dashboard and let's begin with the first section the page that contains all of the wish list if we expand here we'll be able to select where to show our wish list page you can choose different pages from your site but i'm going to just leave this with the wish list page this is the default page just in case, we always have to make sure that this short code is entered in the page that we select as the wishlist page, okay? Then we can choose a design. So the one we saw before was the traditional design. Let me show you what the modern grid design would look like. Save options, back to the side. Okay, so this is what the modern grid looks like. The information and options that are going to be visible here are the same. The only thing that changes is the design, okay? We're going to go back. We're going to select traditional again. Now we can choose the information that we want to show in that wish list page, okay? So you saw that we only had the option to delete the wish list button. Let's select the other options to see how those look. Refresh. Okay, so that looks much more complete. That looks better. So I only have the name of the wish lists, the privacy, and the option to delete them. Now I also have the dates when they were created, the count of items inside each wish list, and an option to download a PDF file of each one of those wish lists. Back to the dashboard. Last option, create wish list in pop up. This is basically a pop up window to allow you to create a new wish list, just like I did before when I created the birthday wish list. Now let's move on to the second section that refers to the detail page settings, okay? We also have design options here. We have traditional, modern grid, and only images with info and click. We'll leave the default selection, which is traditional, and then we can choose what we want to show in the wishlist table. This will modify the wishlist details page behavior. So I only have product price, product stock, add to cart option, and icon to remove the product. Let's deselect its options and just leave the checkbox and the icon to remove the products. Save options. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so these are the only options that I have. I can select here and I can remove this product here. Let's go back to the dashboard and let's select, let's say, price, quantity, stock, date, refresh. There. Okay, so now it is much more complete. I have the options I mentioned before. I have the price, I have the quantity, I have the stock status, I have the option to add this to cart. When it was added to the wish list, this is much better. So the options are very simple. They're very intuitive. You just need to access the dashboard and start setting up the plugin to show the wish list options and page the way you want to show them. You can try different configurations and designs and down here, you can also modify the text, the style and color. For example, the add to cart style, the text color of the share button. Afterwards, you just scroll down, save, and that's it. You have saved your first settings. Using our Youth WooCommerce wishlist plugin is that is. Okay, guys, that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and we'll see you again for our next video.